We're going to have a look into the way Marcelo Bielsa got Leeds back into the top flight of English football after 16 years in exile. Bielsa is passionate about his side playing high-speed possession football. Dominating the possession statistics throughout the promotion year with nearly 60% possession in each game on average. They have maintained that rate this season as they are third in the table with 61.1% average possession. Just behind Liverpool and Man City with 64.5% and 62.6% .6 respectively. When it comes to his formation, he tends to use these as a base to build from. When out of possession, they drop into a 4-1-4-1 formation. And when in possession, he provides creativity in a 3-3-1-3 formation, which has never been seen so consistently in the Premier League. Bielsa has implemented his philosophy around similar types of individuals and can be seen to field similar players each week. The formation is all based around one key player, Calvin Phillips. Though his movements seem minimal, he's created a spine to be flexible around and provide the team with success. When building up from the goalkeeper, the keeper needs to have three options at all times. Calvin Phillips tends to be the point of his triangle due to his ability to handle pressure and play effectively. Both centre-backs would split and push Dallas and Ailing high and often inside creating inverted fullbacks. With Phillips dropping deep to gain possession, he was comfortable to hit either short or long ball passes when needed and has recorded a very high success rate. The wide players have the opportunity to play in their vertical zones or to slide inside to support the striker. Bielsa always looked to overlook in wide positions more than centrally. Looking at their heat map, they tend to play down the wide channels 80% of the time, this resulting in Leeds becoming the highest crossing team in the Premier League. This is facilitated by the overlooks that they have, potentially having vertical 3-4-3 formation, which has been seen in a few European teams. The movement of the wide attackers is key to Leeds United's biggest threat in the final third. This is where you'd often see Harrison and Rafina go either inside or outside, allowing Dallas and Ailing to perform the opposite movements, potentially creating a front five, incorporating the unmarked fullbacks, resulting in a high goal scoring opportunities. Alternatively, with the abilities of both Dallas and in particular Ailing comfortable to play in the middle of the park, it frees up central midfield players to advance while maintaining cover and balance to the team. With this, it has shown that the team has an all-round involvement in goals for the side and the Leeds fans have come to expect different people scoring and assisting in each game. This being said, Bamford, the Leeds number 9, has put in the hard work and created or scored a goal every 1.4 games this season. With Leeds looking to play in more pockets than positions, it causes the issue for the opposition of who to mark and where to force. If Bielsa's men can't apply pressure straight away, they drop into their 4-1-4-1 formation, where Calvin Phillips finds himself back into the midfield role more and providing cover and balance to the midfield players, whereas Dallas and Ailing drop back into their back four positions as fullbacks. When in possession, both the movement and creativity is key. Bielsa training sessions are built around key movement, though encourage creativity and a license to roam when needed. The speed in which Leeds play at is one of the highest in the Premier League and currently covering more ground than any other team in the league. What was most impressive about Bielsa's Leeds United was their ability to counter-press effectively. Recognising transitions and reacting faster than their opponents has helped them become one of the most hard-working teams across all four divisions. Though their aggressive play hasn't gone unpunished, at times resulting in the highest number of fouls conceded, Bielsa prides himself on his players creating movement and counter movements constantly to get others on the ball, which has resulted in Ailing having made 1,563 touches in the Premier League, only Andrew Robertson of Liverpool having made more with 1,754, showing the importance of the fullbacks in this formation and how they help get specific players on the ball in effective areas. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button for more training sessions analysis and interviews from professionals within the game.